Ah, hello everyone, hope you're all well. Are you joining me today as we uh, take a little trip over to Hoik? So are uh, you fancy joining me today? With the dogs? Yeah? Come on then. Yeah, so we've made it on the bus here, on the way to Hoik. One of the old famous border reaver towns in the Scottish borders. So welcome to Hoik. I think we're going to go and uh, walk up to Cavers now. I'll uh, show you the route that I take from the High Street. It's a beautiful walk. It's a lovely old town, Hoik. Old church there. It looks like the church at Pole Wharf. Yeah, it has the skull and crossbone graves. Uh, just the other end of the High Street in Hoik, and uh, there's an old uh, cottage hospital here. It was built in the 1880s. See this plaque here from 1917. Oh God. Yeah, so we're here at the, the cottage hospital. Met some of the locals hey. who are uh, just Hello. filling me in and a bit of info. Oh Wait, is that the only way in that way? No, 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 you can just walk through there, but I don't know where it is. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, those guys have told me that there was a fire here and uh, people were killed. But, uh, oh, wow, look, some of the old hydrotherapy. No way. Why? Is this would no way there's a bed. Why oh, no way? This place is cool. Yo, lads. Fucking hell. This place is rank, man. Hello. Fuck. Fucking hell. Yeah, there's a ton of different entrances in there. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, it's an old kitchen. Yep. Wow. There's a way into the roof. Yeah. Oh, I've just seen a staircase uh, yeah. just on this corridor. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go upstairs. The staircase is a bit difficult. Everything's a bit difficult. Ah, uh, you can see the old stone there from the bare bones of the building. Ah, <laughs> oh, look in there. Oh, shit, yeah. Ah, uh, here's the stairs. That's a that's no, they're, they're rotten, man. I wouldn't. That's the stairs we've got down. Stairs of doom. Is there an expert? <laughs> <laughs> Trust the expert. No, we are Why? That's because, in his opinion, Doug's could sense spirits, and the second they start barking, he got the hell out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been to a few places where my dogs, uh, they just start shaking, yeah. quivering, you know. Fuck's 
sorry, Logan. Yeah, uh, Logan, don't worry. You, if you try and keep holding the right, the bar, the railings, and, and make yeah, sure if it does go, that yeah, you've got the railings. Yeah. Right, it's a proper mission. <laughs> <laughs> it's all for the content, my dude. Okay. <laughs> I'm ready. Alright, uh, it's fine. It's absolutely ruined. Yeah, just I don't think the camera's picking it up. But just, you can see, oh, there's all ice on the walls. It's all glittery. Yay! Okay, look, this would be an old sterilisation unit for uh, surgery equipment. Yeah. I think this would have been another operating room. No way, an old piano. Absolutely ruined. You can see uh, the strings. Again, I think this would have been another surgical room. Yeah, and a drugs cabinet here, look, with a lock on it. So, the Thorazine and all the Valiums would have been in here. Yeah, and the oppressive atmosphere in here. Now, if you ever find uh, the broken fluorescent tubes and they've got all that white powder in, yeah. that white powder is like mercury. And it's it's really really bad for you. Yeah, it gets into your blood and it's it's really bad for you. Yeah, it's a good subject. I'm going to the different. I'm going to the second Oh, you going that way? I'm still proud of that I fucking. Flipping <laughs> Uh, glad to be outside onto the soft leaves. It's uh, pretty, pretty oppressive inside there. But uh, I'm glad I met these uh, these guys here, these local guys. So they're taking me to the second building now. We're going to go and have a look at some kind of scanner or something. <laughs> Careful, man. Yeah, doing a bit of parkour. <laughs> I feel like he's like Kung Fu Panda right now. He's not Kung Fu Panda. Master Mason of Scotland. Oh wow. The boiler's still there. Wow. Yeah, so I think we've about done uh, the explore here at the Cottage Hospital. It's just that building there behind me that we couldn't get into. So I just want to say a big thank you to uh, these guys here. Uh, what's your name? Uh, I am, just call me John, the easiest way to say it. John, and you are? Stephen. Steve. Logan. <laughs> yeah, so I really enjoyed that. A good rumpage, a big rummage, rumpage through the, uh, for the abandonment. <laughs> but so dangerous in there. So, yeah, that was good fun. Yeah, so this huge place here is abandoned. Peter Scott. I think it would uh, would have been a textile mill at one time. Got a board here. Yeah. Yeah. An old GR post box. Yeah. So this is what all the pavements would have looked like in the Victorian times before the concreting that took place here. Oh, yeah. Ooh. So here's the newer of the two churches that gave us.
Oh, I didn't see this last time I was here. Dogs can't get up here, so it's steep for them. It's a one, two, three, four, five, six stories high. Now there's some old photos that I'm going to include. sure what this would have been. Maybe for a statue or an ornament of some kind. This way it is. <laughs> Come on then. Yeah, it looks like part of the original tower here, the arched, arched roof. Yeah, so I've just met uh, Jane Coxmore, the lady who owns the, um, the old Kirk here in uh, Cavers. And I've taken her contact number. Um, so if I want to come back in the summer when it's a bit drier to have a look around, uh, she said that I can. That's fantastic. And also, um, if I meet up with some of the American people that are coming here, I can bring them up to Cavers and arrange to uh, show them the old Kirk and the, the Douglas Crypt.